Chapter 35 Glory Be When at last the sun breaks through the clouds, all mist is gone in a flash. Riding through fields of emotion, passing through countless obstructions in open space, I've met many prodigal sons and daughters who've lost their way, enclouded by fogs of fear, fatigue, and travail, doing the practices of stilling mind, cutting through shadows and ghosts, striving on and on with glimmers of hope, riding in the chariot of non-doing, all of a sudden, in a flash, all efforts pass away, and all that stands is glory. This life we live is far greater than spinning disks in the sky and tangled plots on the ground, far beyond all great headlines of the day, far more than we all take for granted. Ecstasy is. So how much advice can I give you? How often must I till the same ground? How often must we hear the same teachings of love and compassion? Are we really listening? Ever and ever, the pull of freedom calls. Below the common mind, there's a deep vein of longing, a longing for release from all struggles with thought and feeling. The path is straight and ever so clear, but if we do not know it, we do go round and round. Truly, I cannot overstate the counsel to meditate. All that we are is here, but do you have a path to here? Of course, love wisdom can be mined in the depths of ordinary mind, ordinary self, and the daily life shadows of eternity but the radiant face of glory still remains veiled. Only in stillness does that veil slip off, slipping off, for only you to see, slipped off in a final embrace beyond time. Only then can we put aside all talk. There is no more need. There are no magical passes to enlightenment, no tricks, no guise, no ticket to ride. Only beyond all games of thought is it found, and not in the mind. Even consciousness itself falls away. Quote, the Buddha exclaimed, Consciousness is caused by ignorance, but when there is a complete cessation of ignorance, the whole body of suffering ceases. End quote. For those who recall their joy, there is no cure for forgetting but the straight-ahead path, deep inside, way beyond all we take for real. Having tasted bliss, what compares? Running among shadows, playing among ghosts, Amused by the many distortions of limitless light, what can I say about we sleeping souls? And yet, in love, all is known whole. Now the veil thins, breaking dawn splinters a thousand rays. The prodigal ones cling to dancing flickers. But who can dissolve in the body of the sun? Who is? Time to stop trying. Time to stop stooping. Time to stay in source. Tedious it is, hanging frames in open space, tiresome, contorting light to our fancied gullies. Soon the messiah comes. Soon the veil will drop totally, utterly, finally. Prepare ye for the coming of greater light. No fear, no dread. The master calls. Do you hear your voice? May we all stand in one, dropping our dreams as fragrant petals on the circular path in the garden of samsara.